James Marion Mitchell was born April 23, 1878 at Letterie Plantation, Maine to Charles and Lucy Lacken Mitchell. He left home at age 14 and lived with his sister Mrs. Alman Walton and Susie at Livermore Falls. The story was that he worked in a spool mill and was to bring his money home. Well one day he bought a new shotgun instead and had a big fight with his father and left home. He was in the Navy, served in the Philippine insurrection on board the ship Olympia in 1901 as a stoker. He had a tattoo of a Cracker Jack on his left forearm. He met his wife at his father's funeral. At the time of his father's death he was working in the woods as a scarfer in Bingham, Maine. He and his wife were buried under the maple tree where they met you see she had been a teacher and boarded in the home of his father Charles Henry Mitchell. This is how they came to meet at his father's funeral. They lived on Moose Hill when he first was married at the home that was recently occupied by Elizabeth Barclay, but soon moved to a farm in Livermore Falls just off the Southern Road, where his daughter Marion was born in 1910. In 1912 he bought the old town farm on Fay at Ridge for $1,800. His grandson Gary Mitchell now lives here. The farm burned in 1962 and a new little home was built. Gary built a log cabin and garage on the property. James worked in the grinder room at the International Paper Company. He rode at the wheel horse cart to work until he bought a Model T Ford in 1924. He lay in bed for years waiting to die from cancer. He also had asthma. He died of stomach cancer. On March 7, 1937, and was buried at Miss Hill. He was a very quiet and private man, who meant what he said and did not repeat himself. He married Nettie Plant on August 23, 1909 at Miss Hill. The ceremony was performed by his brother the Reverend John Alfred Mitchell. For a wedding present they received a horse named Dropsy from his father-in-law Walter Plant. He was a very neat and particular man. I remember my father Charles R. Mitchell S.R. telling me how when he was about eight years of age there was a terrible thunder and lightning storm and he was scared and went to crawl in bed with his mother and found his father in the bed with her. My father said he wondered why his father was in the bed with his mother, but she told him he was scared too. You see dad's bedroom was downstairs.